Fourth Dimension Ministries International are a people committed to raising a community of believers, being modeled after the image of the perfect man and fully representing the fullness of the stature of Christ. Fourth Dimension Ministries International are a people committed to raising a community of believers, being modeled after the image of the perfect man and fully representing the fullness of the stature of Christ. Fourth Dimension Ministries International are a people committed to raising a community of believers, being modeled after the image of the perfect man and fully representing the fullness of the stature of Christ. Fourth Dimension Ministries International are a people committed to raising a community of believers, being modeled after the image of the perfect man and fully representing the fullness of the stature of Christ. Fourth Dimension Ministries International are a people committed to raising a community of believers, being modeled after the image of the perfect man and fully representing the fullness of the stature of Christ. Fourth Dimension Ministries International are a people committed to raising a community of believers, being modeled after the image of the perfect man and fully representing the fullness of the stature of Christ. Fourth Dimension Ministries International are a people committed to raising a community of believers, being modeled after the image of the perfect man and fully representing the fullness of the stature of Christ. Fourth Dimension Ministries International are a people committed to raising a community of believers, being modeled after the image of the perfect man and fully representing the fullness of the stature of Christ. Fourth Dimension Ministries International are a people committed to raising a community of believers, being modeled after the image of the perfect man and fully representing the fullness of the stature of Christ. Fourth Dimension Ministries International are a people. The prophecy over me. I cannot give up now. I cannot fail my love. I must fulfill his cause. There is prophecy over me. I cannot give up now. I cannot fail my love. I must fulfill this cause. There is, there, there is, is prophecy over me. I cannot say, I, I cannot fail this cause. Cannot fail my love. I cannot fail my love. I must fulfill this cause. I must fulfill this cause. There is prophecy over me. There is prophecy over me. I cannot. I cannot give up now. I must not fail my Lord. I cannot fail my Lord. I must fulfill this castle. I must fulfill oh, this castle. There is prophecy over me. I cannot fail my Lord. I cannot fail my Lord. There's something that has been said before you. I cannot fail my Lord. I cannot fail my Lord. I cannot fail my Lord. Ask God what he said concerning you. There is prophecy on the earth. Prophecy over me. I cannot fail my love. I cannot fail my love. I must fulfill his call. There is spirit inside me. It is the Holy Ghost.
lift up your hands to Jesus. Everyone, everywhere, following us online, being here on site, give Jesus that worship with a hand or with the hands lifted up. Remember, it is not a ritual, it's an act of worship. And with our hands lifted high, we will worship our King. With our hands lifted high, we come before Him rejoicing. With our hands lifted high to the sky, and the world wonders why. We just tell them we love Him again. Oh, oh, we just tell them we love Him again. With our hands lifted up. And with our hands lifted high, we will worship the King. And with our hands lifted high, we come before Him rejoicing. Oh, with our hands lifted high to the sky, and the world wonders why. We just stand that we love in our King. Everybody, oh, 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 we just stand and we love in our king. Oh, 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 we just stand and we love in our king. Oh, we just stand and we love in our king. With our hands lifted high to the sky and the we just stand and we love in a king. We just stand and we love in a king. So we tell them we love in a king. And we let them know. So you are worthy to be glorified, and you are worthy, Jehovah. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy. He's excellent and he's mighty. He's precious and he's beautiful. And so we give him the glory and the praise. Give him the glory and the praise and the worship. Thank you, Lord. Beautiful, gracious, loving and kind. We exalt your name. We hallow your name. Blessed be God. Vezem, ezem, 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 uruya. Oni yo ne gina yana, Jesus, we come in your name before the throne of mercy. The Father of wisdom. We come in assurance that the blood paid in full. You, our great high priest, 
we approach the throne with confidence and assurance that we obtain grace and will find mercy even in today's service. We ask that by the wisdom of the Spirit, you will yet educate us once again. Establish your throne in our hearts. Establish your purpose in our hearts. Bring us to a place of confidence and a place of glory. Let your name alone be glorified. We give you the glory. We give you the praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. Be seated. You may need to take 30 seconds to let your friends know that this message is being streamed online. So you might want to share the link so that one person to three persons can become a partaker of what the Lord will be doing amongst us even in the next one hour, 30 minutes or so. Share the link so that the voice of the Lord from this platform will travel far. The more men adhere to the gospel we preach, the more Jesus is glorified. Amen. Okay, I think that is done. You may want to understand why we do what we do. We are a people of prophecy. Like the choir sang, the choir said, there is a prophecy over us. We will give in everything we have. We are a people that came by prophecy. In fact, prophecy brought this house, the prophecy of Ezekiel 47. That was the burden the Lord laid in our heart when this move started. And that is why I will answer fourth dimension. So it was a drive, it was a passion to see that scripture find a through a people, to a region, to a city, unto many nations, as the Lord will grant grace. So we began the journey, and up until now, we have seen the Lord advance the walk from one glory unto another. So every since the Lord gave us this vision, we started pressing. Like I've always said all the time, that anything the Lord will have you do will always be bigger than you. If the vision that you claim that God gave you is your size, you may need to check again. It may not be God. If it's God who spoke to you about something, it must be bigger than your strength, bigger than your connections and your relationship. Anything the Lord will have you do for him. The truth is, if it is God who wants to do that through you, your capacity may not be enough. No matter how strong you are, no matter how widely you have traveled, no matter how connected you are, no matter how sound you are, intellectually speaking now, anything the Lord will have you do must in one way or the other dwarf your potential, dwarf your capacity. God does that so that you don't throw him away and do the vision he gave you. He knows that once what he gave you is bigger than you, you have to fall back to him. Are you with me? This is true. So, we began and from time to time, we see God unveil the face of the work. I'm speaking to us today as a family because last Sunday after SAC, we took that Sunday as a Sunday that will give God all the glory and also appreciate us for being part of that wonderful conference. We are still receiving the testimony up until this morning and it will continue for a long time. Say amen. amen. So having taken our time last Sunday to honor God for what he did alone and what he did through us, from this Sunday at least till middle of April, 
we will take our time to trash out every word given to us as prophecy. This is in line. This is our custom. We don't joke with prophecy. We don't joke with thus says the Lord. Once we know that the word came from a certain stream that we trust and we believe, we'll give it everything we have to make sure that the part we needed to play, we play it and then allow God. We have seen prophecy happen to us and many things said over this house, many have happened and many are yet to happen. Say amen. And they are well documented in our archive and we are not losing sleep. We are very attentive and we are a people passionate to see that the word of Jesus over our lives and over our region comes to pass. So this Sunday happens to be the first Sunday after last Sunday we we'll begin to open up what the Lord has said over this house and find a way to help us understand what God said and then also open our eyes to know because we are responsible people. We believe that when God speaks to us, you have a responsibility you have a role to play are you with me i'm taking you to us to study you might need to go to embassy and obtain your green passport right yes god will not do that one for you i'm giving you money you might need to find something doing so that prophecy will find expression. anytime god said he will do something in your life and through your life we believe that there must be something you do, a kind of posture you take or you take to allow prophecy find expression. Even if God said he will give you a husband this year, you might need to come to FDM for a man to see you. Is it true? Very true. You might need to come to church so that that thing God said will happen. Or you might need to buy perfume or something like that to smell nice you are not helping god you are taking you are you are aligning to prophecy it is true say i hear so every word that god speaks to us comes with a responsibility i've not seen god do anything without a man and maybe your heart will shift Maybe a posture of worship, praise, whatever. But man must do something. Even I'm not talking about um, doing um, hard work. No, I'm saying you must align in one way or the other. Maybe a twist in the way you think. Maybe a shift in your heart. Maybe a posture of rest. But by all means, you take responsibility so that Jesus' word will freely flow in and through your vessel. Please say amen. Three words among many things that the Lord spoke to us in this season. Among many things. You can group them into three. One is dominion. You remember? You remember? Two is rest. And three is what? Speed now. We should know. So among many things the Lord said that will be happening to us as a family. God said we have entered the season of dominion. We have entered the season of rest. And the season of, um, in fact, my friend, Pastor Amai Abraham. So when Apostle Mike came, we were speaking in the hotel. So he was sharing with me how the Lord spoke to him that uh, this program, this conference, has brought us into a realm of rest. That from now we begin to enjoy rest. So when he came that night and Apostle Mike now said, you have entered rest, he eyed me and I eyed him, so we began to laugh. And even before that, we have also perceived that such a thing will happen. I'm saying that to say that God has begun and we are, we are not going to enter. We are now walking in our realm of dominion. Speed is happening and rest is happening. Say amen. amen. So anything happening in my life now and I cannot sense rest, it is not God. It is not God. So, and in case you think, in fact, something happened, let me say it. So, when we came back from the country, I was worshiping and thanking the Lord and giving God the praise. I was about to say it among the leaders, but let me just say it now. So, what I heard is that God said to me that now he has measured a thousand cubits. Yeah, the ankle deep. I said, ah, after how many years? <laughs> Believe me. 
I said this is six years. I'll be how many years now? I, God said I have measured a thousand. Now I have started the journey that ankle deep now. I don't even remember I had that witness. You had it? So I said, Abba, which one is 1,000 cubit again? Not even me, not even loins. So I will not say other things that happened. But then I have to encourage myself on the speed issue. Amen. Because if it takes five years to have a thousand cubits, how old will I be? When me, I calculated my age, I said, no, there must be speed. Amen. There must be speed. So I believed the Lord and it took us five years to labor into the most hardest one is to first enter. Anything you are doing, the hardest million is the first million. Are you with me? That's the hardest million. Once we hit your first million, forget it, you fly. Once we get into your 20 million, forget it. So I believe that we have entered the season of, of rest, dominion, and speed. You have all that explained very well as we progress within the upcoming week. Say amen. amen. Chapter 33 and verse 13. Let's begin to read. Who is like you, God, in all the earth? You are matchless love and beauty, endless world. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Jesus, you are the God. Exodus 33, verse 13. Your presence is ever to me. So this is Prophet Moses, Apostle Moses, beginning with the Lord. He said, Now therefore, Lord, I pray thee, if I have found grace in thy sight, show me now thy way that I may know thee that I may find grace in thy sight and consider this nation to be thy own people. Verse 14. And he said to Moses now, my presence will go with thee. And I will give you what? So rest is a proof that God is with you. Rest is a sign that the presence of God is moving with you. So that means that the absence of God's presence is the presence of struggle. Please listen and don't forget what you're learning this evening. That anytime you begin to unnecessarily struggle, restless, it could be a sign that something shifted and the cloud of his presence is no longer the shekinah has lifted we know i've thought on this platform time without number that the presence of god the holy spirit is everywhere and is in you all the time but the manifest presence is not always there the manifest presence will need some certain environment for it to be activated that's not where I'm going for now. I'm saying that God said to Abraham, my presence will go with you. And because my presence will go with you, then rest is guaranteed. So when God said that I will give you rest, it now behoves on us to pay attention to that that guarantees rest. Are you with me? Are you with me? So if God said, I will give you rest in this season, rest in itself doesn't just come. In fact, Jesus said, Matthew 11, come unto me, all ye that, and are heavy laden. And I will do what? So the giving of rest is a product of aligning with Jesus. I'm saying that if the rest of God promise and given to us by prophecy 
will not be just a word spoken, mere word. Then we must pay attention and understand the technology, the system of the presence of God. So a woman pregnant and give birth to a baby. So the presence of God will incubate. One of the things that the presence of God will give birth to in a man's life, in a ministry life, is what we call rest. So, I repeat myself, absence of God's presence in a business will always necessitate or provoke or activate a business that will struggle to do anything and to make any impact. The absence of God's presence in a life of a minister, in a ministry, you will always see struggle there. Rest is a proof that the presence of God is within a people, among a people, or is for a people. Say amen. amen. So don't blame rest when you can't find rest. Check that which brings or which makes rest available. And that is what? The presence of God. Verse 15. Let's read more. That thou goest all so shall we be separated, I and thy people, from thee by name. Please say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. So let's walk this way. Anywhere you see rest, you see what? The presence of Jesus. And anyone you see that the presence of Jesus follows, that's a man that will obtain grace from the Lord. Have you seen it? So grace gives birth to what? Presence. Presence gives birth to what? To rest. I know I'm sounding so basic, but you just follow me. So, what is the proof Moses was arguing with God? You told me that I have found grace in thy sight. You told me that I have found mercy in thy sight. If it is true, you have shown me grace. Keep money by the side. Give me your presence. What a bargain. And I have taught you and I have not continued to say on this platform, learn how to take advantage of God. Many people don't know how to ask. We do it in the physical we do it in the spiritual. Many believers don't know how to ask. Are, are you with me? Are you with me? Somebody said, 100 million naira and a dinner with Mr. President. Choose one. What will you choose? Are you sure? Are you sure you choose dinner? Eh? 100 million naira and a dinner with Mr. Current sitting president. Do we vote? One billion naira and a dinner with Mr. President. One billion. For a people. Oh! For there remaineth a rest. I know I'm talking about the presence of Jesus. But it is good I, under, I, I let you know. And if I have found mercy and obtained grace. Lord, let that grace translate to your presence. And once you are with me, we can go anywhere. Look at how Moses hi, this man. Eh? He said, I don't care about Google map. I don't care about the enemy I will, I will meet on the way. I don't care about the challenges. I don't even care about what these six million men away will eat. I don't care. I'm only after something. Once you say you are going, let us go. Amen. There are people in this hall, in this service. If they say they are taking you out for lunch, forget it. Go with them. Eh? 
You are not here. You don't need to ask them money. Once they say, I'm taking you out for lunch. I'm just using, give you a sense. If they say, I'm going to give you lunch this afternoon. What do you do? Smile your way and go. Just pray your stomach have a lot enough, 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 enough space. Just go. Because you know that once their ATM comes out. Are you with me? They may give you 5k, go and eat lunch. If I were you, I will ask, I will tell them, can we go together? Because you may end up eating lunch and going with dinner. Two of us. But 5k will barely buy you something good. You may end up eating lunch. And for some of you, gifted with, amen. I'm saying that we have valued things more than the person. The things we ask of God most times takes our place and our hearts. And this is why we have not struggled. We, we have been struggling to get anything done. Only if God will help us in this service and bring us to a place where he will focus our eyes on things that matter. That God can visit your morning quiet time and that Shekinah will fill your room. You didn't ask for money. Just leave your house. Then you will know that the presence of God is a magnetor. The original, authentic magnetor me I know is the presence of Jesus. Are you with me? Hey! Once I see a long list of prayer points, I know you're praying wrongly. Once you have a long list, one to 125, only you. Only you. 300 prayer points. Only you. You're not praying right now. And these things you're praying can be grouped into two or three. Shepherd of my heart and of my strength, in my weakness you were merciful. Redeemer of my past and present wrong. Ah. You're the author of my future days to come. Because your presence is heaven to me. It may not be wrong to say, God, give me customers. It may be better to say, Lord, go with me. Are you with me? It may not be wrong to ask God for things, but you are safer to focus on the presence of Jesus Christ. It is true that God can go with a man. So if you're not seeing rest, maybe you are yet to trap in reality the Shekinah. Oh, I don't want to spend all my life trying to work it out, trying to make it happen. Trying to make people like me. How many would they like? You're working so hard to be in the good book of everybody. Ah! Man, you want everyone to like you and you're working hard. You send a charge card. You send this one. You send this one. And the more you work hard, the more they turn against you. Sometimes men pursue people that does not pursue them. No. You don't know? No, it is true. You, when they try so much, don't get me wrong, I used to, and I was still teach it on how to connect to people. We know all those stuff, what to do. But no matter what we teach, there is such a thing that will come upon a man. Have you ever wondered, the ark of Noah was in one place. What kind of language will you tell snake, come and enter? You are, talk to me. How do you tell cockroach, come and enter this ark? Do you speak in tongues? Which language now? How do you tell an elephant to come and enter the ark? Ark was in one place. 
and every animal found their way into this ark something was on that ark are you with me god is the father of all spirits it is good we teach you strategies on how to connect to people and i agree with that but no matter what we teach there is a principle that the presence of god can be upon a man and men are compelled to like you hey pancake is too good presence is better are you here the tabernacle of his presence the tabernacle of his presence let me remind you quickly before we move on that the greatest need of God is to find a house the greatest need of Jehovah is to find a tabernacle. The tabernacle, the house. I think it was a person that said that spirits that they have challenge with accommodation. <laughs> that it is not only human being that looks for accommodation. The spirit, that is why if they find one available, legions who smuggle themselves into one that even God from chapter 3 and let me summarize the reason why Jesus came Jesus came looking for accommodation the essence of his death is to prepare a heart he will inhabit nothing else why do we preach we preach looking for accommodation for God huh? are you here why do we preach we go to evangelism because God is looking for a house he said heaven of heaven cannot contain me I am too big I'm looking for a house so any day you move out there and you win a soul you just want for God a place to dwell Imagine you providing God's accommodation. Imagine how your life will look like. That winning soul is all about making hearts ready for Jehovah to inhabit. God is not spending money. God spends men, you know that. That when God wants to do anything, he cannot. Oh, let our hearts be the place where you can inhabit, oh God. Thank you. Hear this. The greatest revelation, me I know. The greatest mystery, me I know. The greatest understanding, me I know. The greatest rema, me I know, is this. That God lives in a man. I don't care the revelation you have. I don't care the rema you have. The greatest rema I know, the greatest revelation as far as our journey in God, if you have a revelation that pre-Adamic nature, God bless you, the greatest one me I know is that God inhabits man. Great is the mystery of godliness. God manifested in the flesh. Kyoidi. You don't know anything until you have a revelation that the man, that man is now the place where God has chosen to be. Please say amen. amen. You don't know yourself until you have a revelation that your heart is the place of God. Don't think what I'm saying is cheap and easy. In fact, your Christian journey with God will never make sense until you receive a revelation that I am the tabernacle of God. I am the house of God. Oh! 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 I don't know if you can be able to be here, but let me say it in a way so that I don't need to interpret or explain many things. Do you know
do you know that the fastest way to know God is through men? Huh? Huh. Huh. Do you know also that the fastest way to relate with God is through men? I know I'm sounding somehow. In fact, look at the way John argued it. John said, ah, how can you say love God, love God, love God? Forget that. John said, if you cannot love a... If you can't love a man, you can see how can you love God? John simply is saying that if you want to show God I love you, love one another. It's that simple. And I'm saying that in relating with God, the fastest way to relate with God is through men. I am not speaking um, what I don't know. Listen to me, everyone. It doesn't matter what we think about a God who is real, and I believe till tomorrow that God is real. But the explanation and the expression of deity can only be trapped and captured through men. Please understand this. I am not shifting, of course I'm coming to the issue of human worship shortly. But listen to me, if we don't understand that the shrine and the temple and the tabernacle of this almighty God is men, we may miss the closest, yeah, we may miss God simply because we lack the understanding that the house of God is called men. Are you with me? In some places, people honor a place and dishonor men. Listen to me. We are not like the ROC in your village. We are believers. They may need a shrine where they live. But listen to me, everyone. God lives in men. Please shout amen. amen. I'm the tabernacle of his presence. I am the tabernacle of his presence. First Corinthians 3 and verse 16. Quickly. Very quickly. 3.16. Oh, hallelujah. Do you not know? Know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the spirit of God does what? Know ye not which means the problem of knowing has always been there. Do you not know that God has a building? That you are the building of God. Solomon raised a magnificent building, finished it, and he cried out. Say, heaven of heavens cannot contain you. Heaven of heavens you cannot live in. Who earth, who can build a thing with things made by you and then say I have built a house for God even in the Old Testament our fathers acknowledged that no matter how beautiful a place is it is still too small to contain God this is why God is angry when our project become physical project more than spiritual projects. If you want to give God a house, please build men. Is somebody here? If you want to give God a resting place, please give God a house. Come into your resting place, they will say in the ancient time. But the resting place of God is more than a location. Oh woman, I teach you, Christ was telling her, that in the ancient time, the Jews worship on that mountain. Samaria is on the other mountain. But time is coming and that time is now. When the true worshippers, we worship no longer in any mountain. But in the spirits, small letter S, in the spirit. For God is a spirit, capital letter S. And they that will worship him, they must worship him in truth and in spirit. If you are here, shout glory. We have entered rest. Help me anywhere and say, I am the tabernacle of Jesus. Say it louder. Are you here? <laughs> Woo! Glory to God. Okay. 
I want to show you something that will bless you so well and so much. Listen. Your confidence in life, your courage to face life, your courage to face challenges, you derive them from an understanding of the backing you have. Hmm. Your courage and your confidence to face life and the challenges life will throw at you, you will draw that confidence from an understanding of the one backing you. Are you with me? This is so profound. So, I hope you know that people largely make mouth most times, not just because of who, who they are, but what is backing them. Sometimes money, sometimes juju, sometimes parents, sometimes friends. Are you here? People derive confidence. Messia Gife, Messia Gife, the person might be a, a nobody, but the loudness of his voice might be coming from an understanding that something or someone is backing me. Ah? Uh, have you seen a woman confident in the husband? She believes that the husband is the strongest on earth. She will hit your car and still... The woman will shake your neck, shake your neck, shake your neck. You will know if I slap this one now, somebody will die here. But the woman knows that my father is that my husband is it may be his brother of course I'm more younger, but you get my point if the husband is weak he will call the younger brother it may be his father it may even be a boyfriend but courage to face life is derived from an understanding of something or somewhere or some persons backing you what I'm saying is very important to listen to me. Life will cheat you until you understand I'm a, I'm a tabernacle. I'm not moving alone. Oh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. I say glory be to God. Ooh. See the way you walk. Do you not know that you are the tabernacle of God? Do you not know that you are not alone? Do not send us Moses argued. We cannot go. In fact, I don't have time. If you read that Exodus 32, 33, when they sinned, and I'm coming to that, they are sinned. When they sinned, God said, I will not go again. I will send my angel. My angel will bring you into Canaan land. It's there. Are you with me? God promised that, I have promised that Canaan land is your portion. I'm withdrawing myself. I'm giving my angel who will make sure you arrive at your destination. But Moses said no. Destination is not as important as the one taking us there. Don't give me the prophecy and leave me alone. I rather fulfill the destination and make sure you're going with me. You are not, I, I, you are, not, are you getting what I'm saying now? Have you seen children or friend, wife, husband, I said, don't just give me money. I want to go with you. There is such a thing as Lord. The promise may be important, but your promise is more important. And this is why we, you need to pay attention in this service. Because I'm trusting the Lord. Listen to me. God can live anywhere. God can live in a business. God can live in a family. God can live in a ministry. The tabernacle we are talking about can be your house. Are you getting my point? We have seen throughout the scripture that God can stay in a place. This one is Bethel. Where is Bethel? A normal place. So which means your business area can be a Bethel. Are you hearing my point, somebody? God does not only live in men. God lives in things. The presence of God I'm talking about 
I know men are designed to house him. But God can choose to make your house his tabernacle. He can choose to make your place his presence. It is my prayer unto somebody that Jesus will look on you with the eyes of mercy and make your house a place of his abode. Please say a better amen. amen. Oh yes, God can live in men and God can live in things. Let's rush. So let's bring the principle back and then pray. Two things I will say and we'll begin to pray. Somebody is getting blessed. So, how do I make sure that my life becomes that tabernacle in experience? I don't want to be empty. If I have a pursuit in life, ask me to define my pursuit. And I will tell you my pursuit is to trap God. I want my life to express God. I want my life to give expression of the presence and the beauty of God. And the first thing I noticed in the life of Moses, if the presence of God must go alongside with you in whatever you do, everybody please listen to me and listen very well. What you are looking for is not far, you need God's presence. What you are dreaming is not far, you need God's presence. What you are asking for is asking for you, you need God's presence. Such a thing as God that everything falls in line. Last week I showed you a scripture that when they left Egypt, Judah was his tabernacle, his sanctuary. Israel was his dominion. And the result was mind-blowing. He says, he saw them and fled. Mountains keep like ram. What a liar the old mountain. So when God tabernacles in you, there are prayer points you may not be able to pray. Things will melt at your appearance. Are you hearing my point? Haven't you seen people? You carried your own file. Your own file. Enter a place and they will pursue you and pursue your file and kick you out of there. Someone else will carry his or her own file enter the same place and everyone is smiling. It is not pointed nose. Don't think it is pancake. That is such a thing that beautifies men much more than what we call decoration. Are you hearing my point? That people can walk into a place and everyone frowns at you but somehow you carry your file and enter a place and suddenly the atmosphere will change. What I'm teaching you me, I enjoy it and I've seen it all over my life. That no, no, no to people. Once you come you did not dress like that that, so to say, but you are carrying an atmosphere. You may not see it, you may not touch it, but the result will show that rest is guaranteed where presence is ensured. Listen to me in this season. FDM, I'm bringing you a word that from now and upward, anywhere you enter, the presence of God will make big things look cheap. Oh, you are not getting. Are you sure you are following me at all? We have entered rest, and I'm defining for you our new season. This is why we are here. That that which is impossible. Listen to me. The calls you made yesterday, you can repeat the call today after the service. You'll be surprised that no yesterday is now today. Yes. What has changed? The presence of God. What a liar, the old mountain. How come you skip like little hills? I Presence of God levels every mountain. He makes impossible things possible. Listen to me. If you leave God by the side, you will struggle too much. You will struggle too much. But I'm praying for you that your house becomes the tabernacle of Jehovah. That your life becomes a place where God will dwell. Go anywhere with God's presence. You will come back with a testimony. I wish I'm talking to somebody at all. Go anywhere with God's presence. The answer will still. I got the result through rest. The emphasis in this service is that testimonies can be happening to men without struggle. Lift up your right hand. I want to release this thing. It has been spoken by prophecy from today in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you do under God, you begin to enjoy, enjoy results without struggle. 
and anything that makes it look like without hard labor you will not see testimony may the presence of god make it cheap and make it easy for you fbm can i hear your amen, amen. it is our season of rest that's my focus this afternoon we will come to speed later we will talk about dominion later but i'm talking about rest you can pay school fees of children from the place of rest you can execute a project of 250 million from the place of rest we can do ministry from the place of rest are, are you not here you see big things work like that without struggle are you not here we have seen these things in little measure listening to me you do things that people should have how come how come how come i kept hearing from sack how come how did you do this without doing this how come my, let me not say this we're online you see <laughs> rest is easy rest is this thing is this thing is possible it is possible your business can work in this manner believe me in the name of jesus christ you can get results without much i don't mean you are lazy i mean that people will look at you things are happening but you are still under no pressure oh we activate such a season over your life fdm is not this you are the fdm it is our season of rest look at their journey in the wilderness we are hungry manna will come we need meat quail will drop water rock will bring water question which doctor which nurse where we are there and they journeyed Karado Sibanata. listen when they are cold pillar of fire will come when they are hot pillar of cloud you need to buy ac they need presence of god both for ac and for heater it is called rest all these tibos of war must end are you hearing my point you want to marry you do this one and do this one and everything is struggle no no i say no me i reject unnecessary stress i will stretch in prayer i will stretch in fasting but me i will enjoy rest rest is better you are not here you are not here you don't know what i'm saying right i'm gonna be now one he being an 18th floor, waggle step without lifts. Ah, uh, you will enjoy rest. I hope you, you can climb stairs to 20th floor. Ah, uh, but my sister, imagine carrying 10 liters, 30 liters, and you're climbing 21st uh, floor. You are not suffering for Jesus Christ in that one. It is not Jesus suffering. Carrying 50 liters up there is not Christ suffering. Christ suffering is preaching the gospel. Are you with me? You may need to enter into a lift and press a button 16 floor and be pressing phone and you get to 16 floor and the door will open. Rest is better. Rest is better. Rest is better. Receive that grace. Why must you beg 31 persons before you get 30,000 naira? You beg 31 person for 30,000. Imagine the energy. Imagine the nights. Imagine the pleading. Imagine the cry. Some will insult you. Sometimes the 31 person will still fail you. We have activated the period and the season of rest. It will happen in your life. You have to believe this, oh, it is our season.
I didn't say it, God said it. He said, you have come into the place of rest. So if you look at me now, when I am sweating, it's not because I am under pressure. Are you hearing my point? I minister from the place of rest. Kaya! I was following an apostle in his meeting in Lagos. So, he was just saying some, saying no pressure. Saying some little, little, I will call them little now. But the way you say it, the way you say it, no, it's not little. The program in UK, Canada, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. They have paid for everything. But somebody called. I didn't know you. I don't know you from anywhere. And said, how much is everything for your foreign trip? They told the man, don't worry, sir. We have finished the payment. He said it last week. We have finished paying everything. Don't worry, next time. The man said, I don't care. You paid or no pay. Just give me the bills. Rest is better. Rest is better. <laughs> Many of your prayer points, what you need is rest. Eh? You want to pay school fees. You're fasting. Let us fast for the project of the kingdom. Lord, give us souls. Lord, expand the kingdom. Are you with me? Hey, 31 days night vigil for 16,000 naira. My brother, God will bring us to a place of rest. Are you getting my point? Are you sure you are still here? Listen to me. I'm defining our life now. My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Oh Lord, we are into rest and we walk in rest. Please shout a good amen. amen. Are you angry? Listen to me, God's people. I'm not choosing anyone. I am not singing that song. It is for your own and not for me. Are you getting what do you mean? No, what do you mean by endone? Define endone. Let me know. If it is God, Kelu Shatera Abinako. Or see, the way you do not know how bones grow in the womb of she that is with a child. You don't know how you plant a seed and it will grow and become something to eat. So shall I not know how wind will bring my testimony. The place of rest is a beautiful place. A beautiful place. Ministry by rest. Business by rest. Academic by rest. I'm saying this to provoke the atmosphere over your life. Are you with me? Sana kombe vinata. The giftings of God in operation in your life, you operate them from the place of rest. We labor in the word. We labor in prayer. We don't labor in life. Our labor in word and doctrine and prayer will translate to things coming to us. Glory. Two things quickly on how to activate God's presence. Number one, prioritize God's presence. Prioritize, prioritize. Make God's presence your topmost priority. I beg everyone hearing me today, listen to me, hear this and don't forget this. From today onward in your life, let everything in your life become secondary. Let every prayer, let every pursuit, let every drive become secondary. 
every other thing can be number two. Let God's presence in your life be number one. Number one. Prioritize. Make number one. Your pursuit for his presence. Everything can wait. So the next time you are worshipping, don't be worshipping so that one husband will appear. Let the husband be number 35. Let presence be number one. Listen, I have, I have intelligence when it comes to emotions. Don't think I'm hard. But I'm telling you how to cheat life. Oh! How many of you know you can spend time in God's presence for hours without asking for a thing? And yet things will come. You don't know? Do you know? My prayer time! And you are there worshiping God. Singing. Praying in tongues. You can't remember asking God for yam. But the yam came with sauce on top. You can't remember asking God for pap. But pap came with egg and milk. Oh! I cherish your presence. I love your presence. Nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want be with you. Nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is be with you. Nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is be with you. Oh, nothing like. Your presence, Lord, all I want is to be with you. Oh, nothing like your presence, Lord, all I want is to be with you. Oh, nothing like your presence, Lord, all I want is to be your face. Nothing like your presence, Lord, all I want. Forget preaching, seek his presence. The next time you will come to worship the Lord, forget anointing, tell him you mean the whole world to me. I know you have interview tomorrow. What about taking the first 30 minutes to tell him you are more important to me than the interview tomorrow? You will wonder and be in shock what you will do. I know you need money. What about telling him you need more than one trillion dollars to me? I know that you have challenges left, right, and center. Prioritize God's presence and you see how you enjoy rest in your life. Make him your utmost priority. Are you with me? The next time you want to pray and fast, don't just say it. Let your heart mean it. That Lord, everything can wait. But your presence is my utmost pursuit. My utmost challenge. My utmost prayer point. Lord, I just need to be with you. I just need to be with you. Let it capture your heart. All these need driven prayers will only give you chin chin and sweet on your table. It will not give you a tangible result. Are you with me now? Don't let God know that he exists only for your need. Let him know that he exists so you could fellowship with him. 
prioritize the presence of God. Prioritize your pursuit of his presence. I know we are touching the whole world, but can you come to him and say, Lord, if you don't give me a platform to preach, if I can enjoy your presence, it is enough for me. Make God's presence your priority. Are you sure you're here? Oh! receive grace to understand it and you'll be in shock you see ba, that season in your life when you have mountains and challenges and problems sometimes when you come before God's presence pretend as if they are not existing are you here pretend as if you don't have rent to pay Pretend as if you don't know that your age is going. I need a husband fast, fast. Pretend as if you don't have bills to pay. Pretend as if your mom is not sick. Say, Lord, there are challenges, but you mean so much to me. I value your presence. I value your presence. At that moment, song will begin to sing from your within. You may not be able to know how to sing it. But you see yourself making some melodious sound. Because at that time, you are singing for the one you love. Prioritize the presence of God. The first thing that shows that you have prioritized God's presence is that no idol. No idol. No idol. Removal of idols simply means that God's presence is now your priority. If we begin to read, we will not go into it. In chapter 32 of Exodus, you will know how the story began before chapter 33. You remember the story? When Moses came down from the mountain, are you here? Are you here? Moses delayed on the mount, coming down. The people of Israel, they became somehow, should I say now worried or impatient for whatever reason, 40 days. Let's close the chapter and focus. The scripture said, they now said, Aaron, assistant pastor, we don't know what has become of this pastor Moses. Make us a God. Guess what? Moses said to, sorry, Aaron said to them, Oh, I can make a God, but give me what? Give me the gold, the earring, the necklace, the bangles. And Moses, sorry, Aaron collected them, melted them, and then gave them a golden calf image. Listen, before Moses begins to ask God for his presence when he came down if you read further the Bible said in anger and in fury Moses broke and shattered in pieces the golden image set up by Aaron everyone listen have you noticed that what we call idol that replaces God's presence will always come 
from that which God gave us. Have you studied history? Even in this time, anything or things that will replace God in your life normally will come from the things God gave. Idol worship in the ancient time until this modern time, our fathers, what they call idol, is worshiping mango tree that God gave us for our own consumption. Two of us, worshiping waters, sun, moon, and star. Idol will always come from that which God gave, which means that the first or the greatest thing that takes us away from the presence of Jesus is the very thing we can call the blessings of Jesus Christ. Idol worship comes or idols comes from the very thing that God gave us. Please listen to me everyone. So for Aaron, it is the gold. I hope you know, you remember how the gold came about. Just remember, the gold came how? By favor. They did not labor for it. It was God who mounted pressure on Egyptians and caused their hearts to favor them. Everyone listen, you will always derail from the presence of God, from the very thing that God gave you. If you are not careful, the goal that God gave you can become a challenge, can become a, 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 a roadblock, a stumbling block from worshiping in his presence. Oh, you don't know that anointing can stop a man of God from the presence of God. You don't know? Anointing is a gift from God. But anointing can also be a trap that a man of God can begin to like anointing more than the one that gave anointing. Anointing is not God. Anointing came from God. Is somebody hearing what I'm teaching this evening? Listen to me. What God gave you can become a snare, a trap, a lure out of God's presence. If you are not careful on the day that you are becoming impatient, what the devil will use to mold an image that you begin to bow to might be the very thing that God gave you. I hope you are still getting what I'm teaching this evening. So God can give me money and the money God gave can become a trap. It can take me away from God's presence. How many do we say and leave the other? I hope you know that many times the prayer point of praying now, when God answers them, you will struggle to maintain your link with God's presence when they come. Do you know? You don't know. Know it now. The kind of money you are asking God to give you, make sure, make sure that when the money comes, it will not take you away from God's presence. The kind of ministry that we are asking God to give us in FDM, I pray and I say to God, may that ministry not come and the ministry will shift us from the very thing that gave us the ministry. This has been the greatest thing of man from Genesis to today the gift of God to a man has always been a channel a system of drawing man away from the God that gave him the husband you're praying for may become an idol when he comes haven't you seen a guy that became angry with God because the girl he wants to marry is angry with him. You don't know? Haven't you seen a girl that became angry with God because the boy that promised to marry him is angry with her? Sorry, her now. You've not seen? This is true. Haven't you seen people angry with God? When you were nobody, God said to Samuel, tell Saul, when you were small in your eye, I made you a king. Now you became a king and you replaced me. The greatest temptation is the very thing that God will give you. When they will arrive, they want to tempt you away from God. We are no longer seeing you. My business 
does not give me a chance. Don't tell me you have chance when the business was not there. But now you have the business. But the business is now a very big challenge to the God who gave it to you. Idol worship is a temptation every man was watch. Whether you are a preacher or you are the one receiving the preaching, nobody will beat his chest and say, I have overcome. Little children, John will say, Keep yourself from idol worship. Listen, it can happen to every man. It can happen to anybody. No matter how big. I know you love your children. But make sure that these children will not become idol worship. No more time to worship God. Now you have to live by 6 a.m. You have to live by 7 a.m. Make sure you must create a system that continually and perpetually remind your maker that the things you gave into my hands cannot occupy a place in my heart. I have keep saying this. If you don't know how to keep this in the heart, in the hand, you will not be able to go far with God. And maybe the thing, or one of the things, will be asking God in prayer in this service, Lord, to crush any idol. Are you hearing my point? Crush any idol. I hope you know, invitation to come and preach, my name is Dan Obu, and they invite me everywhere. I hope you are aware that invitation can become an idol to me. Oh, it is very deceptive. The enemy is aware that the fastest way to lure you away from God's presence is by using the very thing that came from God. The gold was a gift, but now it's now become a snare. And these men are bowing to an image. I don't know what we bow to and what we're bowing to. But tonight, I will lay down my idols, trust that I've made, all that have taken my hand. Oh. I've seen people leave church and leave God's presence because a guy or a girl disappointed them, angry with God's presence. You think I am joking, ba? You think I'm joking? <laughs> what money can do to someone supposedly love can do to another what money can do to someone anointing can do to another same temptation is simply where your heart is me I'm looking for power it can become an idol you are looking for money it can become an idol you're looking for visibility. It can become an idol. It is what we call gold that will be used in making your golden calf. What we call gold. I may not call money gold. I may call anointing gold. What I call gold is what will be required. The raw material the enemy will use to mold a calf. In fact, if you check that, is, is, um, Ezra 32, he said, O Israel, this is the God that brought you out of Egypt. This is the God. They didn't call it idol worship. This is the God. It is this man. It is this gift. It is this your voice. It is your soprano angelic voice that gave you visibility. And who told you that soprano can give visibility? told you it is your anointing your gift it is your skill who told you that skill gives money many are more skillful than you sir who told you it is your 
Some ladies will look at the mirror and be praising themselves. I am not saying don't do self-crush, but be, be very watchful. Devil can twist your good intention. And before you know it, you begin to worship shape. Worship shape. You attribute guys talking to you. Why can't they see me? On a hard half was really? Really? On a hard half was Are you sure on a hard half was Be careful. The gold in your hand given to you by God can be used by your enemy to, to shift you away from your God. Am I making sense to you? Prioritize God's presence. Prioritize God's presence. You may want to come before his presence and say, Lord, before they called me a man of God, we have been here now. Are you with me? And watch. Let me tell you this. Should I go ahead? Don't forget this. As you begin to grow, bah, some certain things you do that looks like childishness, make sure you don't overgrow them when it seems as if you're becoming great. <laughs> This is one of the ways me I know you will run away from idol worship. Listening to this man talking. He's not talking foolishly. Some certain things you do before God began to announce you, make sure that you keep them as God begins to lift you. Every day I'm speaking to you now. As the Lord has brought us into a new season, let's make sure. So if I used to come before the Lord, and when they are singing, I am dancing. Now I came with fleet of cars. You see it now? Now it is too shameful. I'm degrading my status. Dancing as a billionaire. How can I dance? So you don't dance as a child again. You dance as a billionaire. You see it now? Now nothing is wrong in clapping this way. It's just that you are now clapping this way because something happened to your thinking. You used to kneel. You are used to kneeling. Nothing is wrong standing or even sitting in worship. But now you think it is degrading your, to, it is to your status kneeling as a CEO. How can I be kneeling? No more than now. Who go one from here? I should be able to balance like the Alga. Beware the things you are doing that lifted you. Beware as you are being lifted. So if you are David, remember it is dance and praise that made you a king. Even when you have men dancing for you, don't forget that you have the one to dance on to. Always remember. Always remember. Always remember. Always remember. Never you overgrow. Never. May I never. Sometimes I look at this man, Papa E.A. Adeboye. 80 something years, he still bowed his knees. He started bowing his knees as a little, as a teenager. Now, a global voice. Now, father of fathers. Yes. He will still carry his... Uh, like, a, like a child. Like a child. Like a child. Global influence. Money everywhere. Sons and daughters. It is only you. They invited... Let me be kind with my words. They invited you. <laughs> Let me not be harsh. <whistles> Are you here? <laughs> May we never overgrow the principle that lifted you. Are you with me? You used to prostrate. 
you used to roll on the floor. It has been your strategy. It has been your thing. Now you think it is too low. How can a classy lady like you, classy you call it, beware, 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 beware. I challenge you in the name of Jesus the Christ of God that the presence of God detests idol worship. Search my heart, Lord. If there is an evil way, see me true. Everlasting God that belongs. Oh, search me, Lord, in all my ways. If there is an evil way, see me true. Everlasting God that belongs to you. Over and again. I dedicate my heart afresh. Jesus, over and again, I give you my soul. Over and again, and over and again, Lord, I belong to you. Over and again, Lord, I give you my heart. Over and again, Jesus, I give you my soul. Over and again, and over and again. your 10 year old child that when I was 15 years I started kneeling on the floor can they grow up watch you still kneel that no matter the result in my heart my posture for God cannot be altered no matter what they call me my posture oh. can you say that you can say that Joveni karoni sakuri ya balade ndoma kataba vekozi za robra keshi kabaha you can't overgrow principle you still dip your hand into food and put in your mouth you started doing this from year 1 now you are a millionaire same system the same way you use restroom where you are one you still you may change the toilet seat. It's still the same thing. Talk to me. Have you changed? The same system. Now you are all God. The same system. When you are pressed, you forget. You may have AC in your toilet. The same system. Are you with me? You may have a golden whatever seat. Still the same system. You don't tell God I have arrived. And you make yourself that some certain things you used to do, they are now. This is how men derail from God. Apostle Paul, before him, I bow my knees. May I never overgrow bowing my knees, standing in prayer, fasting in a worship. May I never come to a point, Lord, where I am too big to do the little thing that lifted my heart, that lifted my soul. Grant me the grace, Jehovah, that the gold in my hand will not turn to a golden image. It is easy for gold in the hand turn to a golden image. It is not a challenge when they are gold you can put on your neck. It becomes a challenge when they become an image you can bow to. Are you hearing my point? It is only a challenge when it becomes an image. So greatness, the side effect of greatness is that greatness will always want to replace the great one. The side effect of greatness is that greatness has the tendency to replace the great one. Until you find a system to tell your greatness, no matter how great you are in my life, you cannot replace the great one. The great one remains the ultimate, the epicenter, the focal point, my drive. You may call me great, but I know the great one who by his little drop on my head make it look like I am great at all. Greatness, you call it, will always draw and lure men into coming to a point where he replaces the great one. Bring me back, and the song that I will say, they come to ancient parts, 
lead us along and turn our path well. We want to walk in the footsteps of Jesus Christ. Though he was God, he could not hold it. When I'm anointed, I sing like a child. Now I'm anointed, I now sing like a child. When I used to trek, I used to worship with tears. Now I have cars, I still worship with tears. Before they began to invite me, I used to kneel, prostrate and bow. Now they call me apostle. Call me whatever. You cannot take away my knees on the ground. your spouse break your love the one that you love find a system to remain you in the midst of greatness the presence of God will always draw back in the face of any idol worship I don't forget this once God dictates idol worship you have not heard and I remind you again that it is true that God is a jealous lover if money is here, he cannot be here. He cannot share his presence with anything. Consecrate my heart to thy service, Lord. Ancient hymn that makes all the sense, all sense. Are you with me? So every day, draw me near, away from idols. Near our blessed Lord to the cross. You can call that song anything. I still sing it. Draw me nearer, 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 our blessed Lord to thy precious bleeding. Remind me where I used to be before you lifted me. Give me the consciousness. I was nothing and you lifted me. I am thine, O oh Lord. I have heard your word and it told thy love to me. This kind of things will break your ego. But I long to rise in the arms of faith and be closer to Let nothing take you away from my heart, Lord. Look at me, everyone, before I begin to tie this message up. Hey, everyone will encounter the moment where your Moses seems like he's delaying. At that time, the temptation to worship something else will be heightened. You're not here. Are you here? Let me repeat myself. Everyone will encounter the temptation where it seems as if your symbol of hope, Moses in this context, is wasting time. Give us another God. We don't know this Moses and his God. It comes in a mass life once and again. The temptation that makes it look like prophecy is taking time. At that time, there will be options to bow. To bow. Your convictions will be under attack. Your values will be under attack. But may nothing replace God in your heart. Are you with me? So when you prioritize God's presence, you take away idol. And the second thing you want to do is that when you prioritize God's presence, you will be conscious of his presence. Very conscious. Very conscious. Very conscious. You will discern. Psalm 24 and verse 1. Let all Israel say, if not the Lord who has been by our side, consciousness of his presence.
Thank you, Lord. Psalm 124, sorry. 124, sorry. Verse 1, 124. It was a song in the ancient time. The scripture said, Let all Israel say, If not the Lord, who has been by our side. If you want to prioritize God's presence, number one, take away idols. Then number two, 124 verse 1. 124 verse 1. Let all Israel say, if not the Lord, who has been by our side. Glory be to God. Listen to me, everyone. Hear me. I've taught you before that consciousness is life. You remember? Consciousness is life. You may not be a medical doctor, but one of the things you begin to sense when someone is around you, what the person is no longer conscious, you start thinking, is he or she still alive? Are you with me? Never you lose your consciousness. Sing this song all the time. You may not feel it, but sing it. He's with me all days. He's with me all time. He's my loving friend. My Savior all the time. He's, he's with me all day. day. Oh, he's, he's with me all time. time. I know he's, he's my loving friend. My Savior all the time. Look at this. Many things will fight these songs. But learn from David. How can a man sing a song like this? Yea, though I walk in the valley of the shadows of death, it will not shift my conviction that God is with me. No, look at this, oh. Look at this. The evidence that God is with you is that you are cruising. Are you with me? The world will mock you when you are going through the valley of the shadow of death. The first thing you hear is where is your God? Is it true? When something bad we say happens to a good person, they will interrogate you. Where is your God? Life will probe into your conviction. Are you sure that God did not travel? But our fathers taught us that God can be with a man. Yet yeah, that man is right into the valley of the shadows of death. God forbid. But the woman walked into a labor room and gives birth to a dead child. But I was praying in tongue every night for nine months. God, where are you? Monage no bachi dum, monage ogeni ne, abue zeni, onye zopo tambe dum. You lost money, you lost friends, things around you does not carry a signature of God's presence. He manozi na kome lata brahabash. Listen to me, everyone. There are moments in your life where the happenings around you may not carry the signature, so to say. Oh! But listen to me. Can you maintain the consciousness? He will never leave me, nor forsake me. I cannot see Naba. I may have lost money, but I did not lose him. He's still with me. I lost friends, but I did not lose him. He's still with me. You have to convince yourself, oh, because life will make it look like God left you 100 years ago. It will question your conviction, question your belief, question your ideology, question the message you heard. But I came to remind the soul that cares to listen. I know that something happened. Maybe someone online need to hear this. Something bad happens to you. It does not validate the fact that God left. He was there. And he's still there. And he will remain there. You allow him. 
Are you with me? Don't ask me too many questions. Because the prophecy that came to Joseph when he was being pampered with coat of many colors was the same prophecy that will propel his brethren to sell him. The same prophecy will still be with him when they will connive and give him betrayal of his life. The same prophecy will still remain with Joseph when he will be pushed into the prison. The same prophecy will be there when he will interpret dreams and dreams will not bring to fruition. They will forget him after two years. But I bring someone a good news. You are making a mistake when you judge God's presence by what you call results. I am walking currently in the valley of the shadows of death, but you are still with me. Moses said, just assure me you are going with me. Forget about the hunger. I may cool say somebody is not here. I hope you know God was with them and they walked three days, no water. Do you remember? God was with them and they walked some days, no food. God was with them and their enemies will mock them and challenge them. Let me remind you, you may have lost a loved one, but he's still with you. Put your bed while you cry what a few words I may not be able to find you but I know you are still with me I may not be able to hold you but I still know you are with me sometimes you are crying alone I may not be able to find a friend who do I lay my head upon now who do I call now I'm confused who do I go to now I may not be able to lay hand on any matter in fact Lord I'm confused but I know one thing you are still with me that's how to talk I can't figure out I can't think out how to come out of this quagmire but Lord I know one thing you cannot abandon your own you cannot leave your own with tears mutter this world with burden say this word with confused states say this word consciousness that mother may live but God cannot can a woman forsake a child of her bosom can she forget the child that she gave suck no but even if she decides to I am the Lord you have been inscribed in the palm of my hand I cannot leave you Satan will tell you that God traveled remind that devil he will not travel He's with me. Are you with me, somebody here? The beauty of New Testament is that the Holy Ghost has come to dwell. I know you are with me. Precious Holy Ghost, I know you are in me. Yahweh Yeshua Hamashiach. Listen to me. Carry the pain, but don't lose the consciousness. It is, it is an antidote on itself. When you have the consciousness, that God is with me. Ni koma leitaba. Cinema kome nigra te koma ha. The vision is yet to mature, but God is still with me. The prophecy is not speaking yet. I'm not giving you fake hope, but God is still with me. Anigoniza ni beni korata afekombi la kilisa idukinu kabata. Feed with the Holy Ghost from the mother's womb. Yet he was challenged by Herod. Listen to me, everyone. If you understand this, you will cheat the devil. You will cheat depression. You will cheat worry. Are you hearing my point? He is with me. My name is Dan Obu. You may not yet see the evidence, but I can assure you, he is with me. I know this one like I know myself. Sometimes he will rebuke me. His rebuke is a sign he is still interested. For he will chastise and rebuke them that he loves. Sometimes he will correct me. Sometimes he will keep quiet. Keep him quiet. Mako Shaba. I've taught you here that the absence of of evidence is not the evidence of absence. Don't forget this. The absence of evidence is never and can never be the evidence of absence. You may not see what look like God, but I know I can feel him. I hope you know you can look at a woman and don't know she's pregnant, but the woman knows she's pregnant. 
it may not be showing her stomach. She may be jumping, but she's carrying a human being. One week you don't know. In fact, some persons, three months, you will not even know. Very normal, flat stomach. Yet a prophet is coming. An apostle is coming. A president is coming. That you are not seeing my stomach produce does not mean I've not taken. I know what I am carrying. I'm a co sabata. I am not alone. Can't you understand? Let all Israel say, if not the Lord who has been with us. Let FDM say, God is with us. When they talk against you, God, where are you? He's with you. Are you hearing me? When things are not working, God, are you there? My daughter, I didn't leave. Where will I go? You are my habitation now. You are my tabernacle. Where will I go? You are my house. I have no other house. If not you, encourage yourself and let everyone know that God is with us. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. It's a good time to pray in tongues. Worship him. Speak to yourself. He's with you, ma. I know your boyfriend dumped you. He's with you, sir. He's with you, my sister. He's with you, my brother. I know things are not working out the way you think they'll work out. Boy, he's still with you. Thank you. Kavo mezina. Shekorate siya bahatas. Kilato me kabahayash. Kamonetina kombretina koria bahalada bahash. Silado mehenesh. Thank you. I'm hearing this song, I don't know. You don't have to worry and don't to be afraid. Joy comes in the morning. Trouble may not last so long. But as a friend named Jesus who will walk for tears away. And if your heart is broken Maybe you are the owner of this song. I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in your hands. With Jesus, I know I can make it. With Him, I know I can stand. No matter what, see the comedy, shakume the tikratish. Life is in your hands. Look at me. You can go read again Matthew 14. What saved the day was consciousness that the master is on the water. That was the key that saved the day. Struggling with the wind, both being tossed to and fro confused and battered what do we do jesus came on the water but they never knew they never knew listen the presence of jesus did not stop the wind until they became conscious do you understand jesus was on the water the wind was still beating harsh hard on their boats they were there they were there they were there and they were confused. Who is this? Watch this, watch this. And when they discerned wrongly, it was affecting them. Hey, it's a ghost. Hey, it's a demon. Hey, I know that your boat is not moving, but can you discern the one on that same water? That's my consciousness to you. I know that Thought nothing is moving, but can you discern in spite of the boat that could not move? Jesus is still here. And once he said, Be of good cheer, it is I. Their mind shifted. If it is you on that water, bid me to come. Energy to walk on water came by consciousness that the great one is with us here. 
is a beautiful thing to be conscious that men may abandon you but not God are you with me now? That people that promise to help you may not help you again, but not God. That things may not be working the way you think they will work, but not God. Let all Israel know. You have not given my scripture, Psalm 124. Give it to me, media. Psalm 124 and verse 1. That no matter what, let all Israel. It was a psalm written, and Israel was taught a song. Let all Israel know, if not it. A song of degree of David. If it has not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, It became a song. Next verse. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men wrote against us, the point I'm making here is that it was a song. Teach your children to be conscious. Let them say, if not the Lord. Which means, let them say that the Lord is with us. They sang that song. So, when we are going down, God is with us. When things are not working well, God is still with us. He has not left. You are still his beloved. That one he loved, you are still. This is my message to you. Tabernacle of his presence. We are his house. He cannot go anywhere. In my night he's there. In my day he's there. In my lonely moment, in my peak moment, he's there. People will only notice when what look like God start manifesting. But before then, let them know that you did it. Are you with me? We don't walk by signs. We walk by faith. God is with us. Thank you. Thank you. You can't abandon us. No. No. You can rise on your feet. Your last key as we pray. Mekorate shibaratas. Two things to become his tabernacle. Number one, prioritize his presence. Pursue him like nothing. And to prioritize his presence, what do you do? Remove idol. Number two, be conscious. Wake up in the morning with that consciousness. God woke me up. Imagine that. It was not alarm. It was not your wife that tapped you. It was God. Go to your shop with that consciousness. Imagine going to that office with the consciousness I am not alone. Then number two, dwell perpetually in the secret place of the Most High God. I want you to stand as I close with this one because this one is also important. In Exodus 33 and verse 7, Psalm 91 and verse 1, but let's take Exodus 33 and verse, 9, and verse 7. Listen. Remember how the journey began. That the rest you seek is found in one place. The presence of God. And I'm teaching you how you can continually walk in his presence. Give me the scripture. And Moses took the tabernacle and pitched it without the camp. Afar off from the camp. Maybe next Sunday we will talk about outside the camp. As we talk about Easter. I will have time to deal with that. And called it the tabernacle of the congregation. And it came to pass. That everyone who sought the Lord went out onto the tabernacle of the congregation, which was without the camp. Next verse, quickly. And it came to pass when Moses went out onto the tabernacle that all the people rose up and stood every man at his tent door and looked after Moses until he was gone into the tabernacle. Next verse. And it came to pass, I like this, as Moses entered into the tabernacle, that the cloudy pillar descended and stood at the door of the tabernacle. As, and the Moses talked with, as the Lord talked with Moses, verse 10 finally. And all the people saw the cloudy pillar stand at the tabernacle door 
and all the people rose up and worshipped every man in his tent door. Listen to me, everyone. Let me summarize this scripture for you. How do we become the tabernacle of his presence? Our last gift for today is to continually find your shelter in the secret place of the Most High God. Everyone listen. Moses, after the incident of golden image, he took the tabernacle. As at that time, it was a moving tent before the permanent tabernacle. He shifted it outside the camp and said, if you need the glory of God, come inside here. Once you worship here, the cloud of his glory will come in, signifying that you encounter the cloud of his glory as you come into the tabernacle. He that dwells in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the almighty God. Let everyone listen to carry God's presence. Listen, can God help you today to understand the need to have a perpetual hunger Listen to me. A perpetual desire. A continuous drive to dwell in the tabernacle. You will never lack presence. Listen to me, everyone. I know you have an interview with Nigerian government. But before you enter into that hall, come into your secret place. Let nobody deceive you. Nobody visits some places empty-handed. They will miss something or they will miss some man. You are not following what I'm teaching you. Are you with me? I know you want to write a five-year exam. Please read your books very well. But before you open up that paper, why not come under the shadow? Something can come upon your brain. The cloud of his presence. Suddenly, everything you read will be activated suddenly you become more intelligent than the one who taught you. I know it is your business deal that may open you up but you are too in a haste. You rush too much. Before you rush out, find a place and stay and stay and stay and say, Lord, unless you are going with me in this interview, I rather stay. I have read books on how to face interviewers. I know I will need to dress well. I know I will need to have some mannerism. I have learned all the ethics, but Lord, more than ethics of interview. I'm going for this business deal, but I know if you don't go with me, I will speak grammar and they will say, I will call you back. And they will still not call me back. Can I teach you a secret? Before you move, interact. There's a place to dwell. What am I doing? I came to do <laughs> Great one! You are the father of spirits. The man I am going to meet, you are the one who made him or her. You control him. You can shine your light upon me. Businessman, before you call the white man for negotiation, dwell in the secret place. Have some 30, 40, 1, 2, 3 hours before you call your business partner. Don't call in a rush. You are too rushy. You rush things too much. Before you negotiate this deal that was tens of million, listen to me, come in the secret place of the Most High. You may dwell there 5 hours, 3 hours, wake up by 2 a.m., stay 2, stay 3, stay 4, stay 5. Make that call by 6 a.m. Let me know the devil that will truncate that deal. I give you a secret. I give you a secret. Before you venture into a life-defining moment, the secret, let Moses come under the cloud of his glory. And when Moses entered the cloud, the scripture said, the tabernacle, and the cloud was coming and descended. We don't know how many hours, but we know he spent some time. And when Moses was coming out from that 
tabernacle. The Bible said Moses wished not that his face was glowing. He didn't know that while I was worshipping, something was happening to my face. It is good, my sister, that you appear well, dress well, smell nice, put some things and appear neat. But let me warn you, if you trust in your pancake, you will be disappointed. There is a fragrance, a perfume that men carry. It is called the aura of his presence. How come you are dry? Oh singer, how come you sing and you are dry? Oh preacher, how come you preach and everywhere is dry? You have the word, but you need the weight. You need the glory. You need the presence. I know you are eloquent. I trust your skill. But if you depend on your skill, life will cheat you. Life will dump you. I welcome you to a place called the tabernacle where men will hide until something will shine on them. And when they come, good luck will not know that something has happened to his face. You will not know until you speak to your boss. Your hardened boss suddenly will become soft. Why is he saying yes? I've learned the secrets. Sometimes, before I meet some certain man, I will meet the one who created the man who can go ahead of me. Don't treat life so simple. You will pay a dangerous price. Before you open that shop on Monday, on Tuesday, take out some time and dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Don't tell me I'm in a hurry. Please don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Don't be too in a hurry that you forget that your advantage does not lie on your skills. Your advantage is on the Shekinah that can come upon your hands. Oh, the presence of Jesus come upon me. Come upon me. Can I teach you something? Mekuria tela sano makile tuna baria kamu fina kome letuna kimoria bahatash. They taught us something. They call it quiet time. They taught us. It's a time you come. You open the scripture. You let the fresh dew. The fresh dew. The fresh dew. Why do we say the same thing every day? But yet it carries different presence. Why do I appear before you every Sunday? Yet the glory has always been there. It's not because I say something fresh or new, but I say it in a fresh way. The presence of His Majesty. So before we appear on stage every Sunday, we will take out some hours. Sometimes we'll play worship. Sometimes we'll speak in tongues. Sometimes we'll meditate. Sometimes 2 a.m. becomes 4 a.m. becomes 5 a.m. And when we come, we will say John 3, 16, for the Lord so loved the world. Yes, something happens to your heart. It can happen to anybody. That will harden lecturer. Teach him you have something higher. Don't fight her. Don't fight him. Come into his presence. Are you getting my point? You have submitted your file. Send his presence. Let Shekinah accompany you. Let Shekinah go with you. Fourth dimension ministries is our season of rest. And rest comes through his presence. Listen to me, everyone. I pray you understand what I want to say now. I believe so much in congregational prayers. I believe in online prayers. Our prayer team has been praying online since this year, up until tomorrow. I believe we pray as a group. But I'm discovering something. We are replacing cop and personal prayer with corporate prayers. It's a virus we must watch. People now use corporate prayer as personal. You will never carry presence if you replace. Don't get me wrong. We pray as a people, but we must pray as a person. 
Yeshua taught us if you want to pray, look sis. Say what to see. Say, don't pray like hypocrites do. They love to stand in the synagogue and in the seat corner, praying that men will watch them. He now says, What you want to pray? Go into your secret chamber, lock your door, and pray alone to your heavenly father. Don't love congregational prayers above personal prayers. Are you hearing my advice? Pray with us, but please pray alone. I know you are married. Pray with your spouse. Pray with your family. Pray with everybody. But create a system that helps to pray alone. Are you hearing me now? I know you work night shifts, but craft a time in your daytime where you pray alone. There must be a time that you and your maker will stand you can roll no interference you must create that system family prayer powerful corporate prayer powerful but that cannot replace one-on-one -on -one with jesus do you understand personal interface with your maker don't let online prayer don't let online prayer replace personal prayer do your online prayer but still revert back when you look at your maker the people shaking the world today they did not grow from online prayer i can assure you that the higher mighty in this kingdom they grew alone look unto abraham your father look unto sarah the body for i call them alone it is a personal work let no man deceive you i am your leader we pray here every sunday not to the detriment of your personal time with god we reawaken revive bring back the old time when 2 a.m cannot meet you on the bed when 1 a.m cannot meet you sleeping when 4 a.m cannot meet you dozing what has happened to a prayer time before you join us please stand alone and jesus waking up before them to a solitary place as his manner as his manner abraham in this season where is your personal altar it is in he that dwells not them that dwells it is he that dwells not them that dwells what we do on sunday is to activate the consciousness is to guide your path and to release corporate grace we are not there on monday but god is there on monday we are not there on tuesday wednesday thursday on friday you are alone learn to fight learn to fight come on sunday receive fresh grace but on monday wake up your personal time find a way don't give me excuse don't tell me my job don't tell me my this don't tell me my... create a system one hour two hours create a system you alone and god i do it every day i come face to face and i express myself before him I express myself there he would tell me you are going away you are going off you are going off this way amen this way amen this way I want to welcome you once again to a place called the tabernacle of his pray of his presence he that dwell in the secret place he said Moses you want to see my presence I have a place Moses Come with me, Moses. Journey with me. That is a place by me. It is called the cleft of the rock. I will open the rock. I will hide you. And when I hide you, I will pass by you. My presence, my glory will pass by. It's the time. FDM. Sack is gone. Let's journey. Let's journey. Let's journey. Conference will be next year. We will not wait next year again to be revived. Grace has been released. I am not waiting for sack next year. I have been sacked in his glory. So let's journey. With the grace we received, with the graces we received, let's journey. Let's journey. Let's journey. Let's dive into his glory, into his power, into his beauty. Let no man be weak. Let no man slumber. Let no man draw back.
I quicken your energy. I quicken your stamina. I quicken your strength. It's a good time to fast and grow. It's a good time to labor in prayer. Don't wait for next year. We carry presence when we dwell. Worshipper, dwell and worship alone. Don't come on a stage singing a song you don't sing in the secret place. Don't come on stage preaching a sermon you never preached secretly for yourself. It's a good time to stay with Jesus. It's a good time to revive your personal altar. It's a good time to quicken your altar. Revive. Build on this fire. Build your momentum. Oh, FDM. God's presence awaits men that know how to dwell. And David will say, I long to see your power as I have seen the sanctuary. What I saw in Sark, I want to see alone. What I saw on Sunday, I want to see on Monday. Look at this atmosphere. Look at the glory you are seeing here. Look how palpable his glory is here. It can happen in your room this way. Bring it down. It can happen in your room. Look at the tangibility of his presence in this house. You can carry this atmosphere into your room, into your secret place. Where is your altar? Go and dust. Bring in firewood. Where is your altar? Woman of God. Woman of God. Where is your altar? Excuse me, madam. Where is your altar? Drop that phone. Drop that phone. Pick up your altar. Drop that phone. You have been browsing too much. I quicken your altar. Where is your fire? Where is your glory? Revive your personal time. One on one with Jesus. And when Moses came out, he did not know that three hours has altered his countenance. Why he yet pray, the fashion of his countenance was altered. Dear sister, dear sister, Roa again. Remember the time where you are alone with Jesus. Remember the time when you are alone. Dear sister, remember you are a warrior. How come you are becoming weak? Where is your altar? Dear brother, remember how you love to fast before the fellowship. Don't wait for us to declare a fast before you began fasting. Don't wait for FDM to declare 21 days. Start by yourself. Where is your consecration? Where is your consecration? Your one-on-one -on -one with Jesus is more important than the show on the stage. Your one-on-one -on -one with Jesus is more valuable than the show on the stage. I quicken your hunger. I quicken your hunger. I quicken your hunger. The secret place is the place where men draw power, draw grace, draw wisdom, and carry presence. Tabernacle of his presence. Ebotie omekete. Ashaba okebata. Aisome obata. Akaba otepea. Shetela. There's a secret place I know It's not found in an open place There's a secret place I know Agaba, oh, Agaba oh, Come here It's not found in an open place It's a good time to dwell we can be many, you can be alone. We can be many, you can be alone. <laughs> Tabernacle of his presence. M voice of his presence. You're not found in an open place. Kobeta niakabata. Shake off every weakness. Shake off every weakness. Shake off laziness. Shake off weaknesses. Shake off laziness. Shake off. Shake off. Shake off. Shake off dizziness. Shake off. Brother, shake off. Brother, shake off. Brother, shake off. Shake off. Every dizziness, laziness. Shake off. You're not found in an open place. 
Yet you're living inside me. This is the key to rest. There's a secret place I know. Dwell more, dwell more, dwell more, dwell more. It's not found in the Kobe Takaponi. I katala tata. Ashako tebele des. Agaba o agaba. Shemete mereka tebaka tas. Ai zose zia. Agaba ta. Agaba o. Kobe kete 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 kote shaba hataba. Mama tita kodi aba. Draw energy, draw energy, draw energy, draw stamina, draw strength, draw capacity, draw energy, draw capacity, draw energy, draw capacity, draw stamina. In a open place, yet you live in inside me. Agaba, wake up, mighty man. Wake up, mighty man. Wake up, oh, you mighty man. Wake up. You're not found in Wake a up. secret place. Wake up! Yet you're leaving in There's a prophecy me. over this house. Wake up, boy, you mighty man. There's a prophecy. Wake up! Relate no more. Relax no more. Relate no more. Relax no more. There's a secret place I found. It's not found in the open place. Yet you're living inside me. Agaba, oh, Agaba. Oh, Holy Ghost. You're not found in the open place. Yet you're I welcome you. Into the secret covenant of Jesus. Emmas yourself. Emmas yourself. Emmas yourself. Deep in yourself. Deep in your members. Deep in your members. Emmas yourself. It's just you, Lord. To many kasama kobre tekila. Fever va va sakato yetebes. Sila ba ko tela ba hash. Yo, yo. Spirit, keep me hungry. So let the weight of your glory cover us. Let the life of your river flow. Let, us Let the truth of your kingdom, of your kingdom be in us. Let the weight of your glory. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let the weight of your glory cover us. Let the life of your river flow. And let, let the truth, truth of your of kingdom, kingdom reign in us. Let the weight of your glory go. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody, I'm listening. God has opened the way for this house. God has given us another measure. As a family of faith, even if today is our first time of coming, God has opened for us portals of rest, speed, and dominion. Personalize it. Personalize it. Customize them. These are your prophecies. Among many, but the key or keys to walking in them are these things I have just shared with you. Take away any idol. Men, things. Be conscious God is with me. Perpetually dwell in the secret place. 
don't wait for us to declare fast before you fast create a system to stay with God until prophecies begins to speak loudly God has begun a great work giving us larger visibility I know it but listen I don't want FDM to be great and you are small God gave the word great at the company the company must be great not small you cannot partner with a big vision and be small the company that publishes this word God gave must be great great Joseph Yarematia great anyone that partners with prophecy all of them possesses a measure of greatness you are lifting the hands of the man of God in music bringing your money bringing your skill bring coming here every so you cannot but reflect the beauty and the prophetic words over this house it's not possible as a ministry we are taking a quantum leap it must replicate in your personal life must you are the work not this you you the rest financial rest family rest speed in finance speed in ministry dominion in marketplace these are your possession this you 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 it must reflect in your life we are here for you we are not here for ourselves we have platforms to preach around the city and beyond the city we are here for you that the grace given by god will flow through this platform unto you it is your season walk with this consciousness it is not them it is you no more struggle no more struggle no more struggle go home and quicken your altar once again every dust every every all ashes clear them clear them and listen to instructions by next Sunday I'll begin to give you family instructions how we must position ourselves for this new season I will do it by next Sunday are you with me next Sunday I'll talk about dominion by God's grace these three things given to us by God must find the expression in and through your life Amen. glory be to God Amen. lift your hands everyone I want to bring you into rest into rest into rest presence of Jesus glory of Jesus come upon everyone online and offline semo bakaria come vika tume kira kubre di javana korea areas of your life you have been struggling spiritual growth you struggle prayer time you struggle whatever struggle in your life in the name of Jesus the Christ I roll them away I bring you into rest I bring you into rest rest is a place I hope you know is a place they did not enter it is a place for them in the old Canaan represented rest is a place we just enter it they did not enter into rest because the word preached to them was not mixed with faith is a place I drag your hands I drag all that consigns you spiritually emotionally academically financially all that consigns you in the name of Jesus I drag them into rest You heard when the man of God said it. He didn't say it to me. He said it to us. I represent you all. I cannot come and monopolize that word and leave you behind. What am I doing with the rest without you? For you are the epistle of my calling. The epistle of my apostleship. What happens to you happens to me. When you arise, I'm arising. I'm rising. When you are not, I am not. 
That's how God desires. I stretch my hand and I pray for you. Everything that concerns you in the name of Jesus, I push them into rest now. In the name of Jesus Christ, enjoy all round rest. No more struggles. If I am your leader, I have seen rest. We do, we do this thing from a, a point of rest. Believe me. Believe me. If I am awake in the night, it is to think for something good. To pray. To worship. Not to worry. I cannot be awake in that. To, not to worry. If I am awake 2 a.m., it is not to worry. It is to pray, to study, or to use my mind. Not to worry. Worry about what? I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the presence of Jesus abide with us. Far for thy evening time. No darkness deep. Lord, we must abide when all the earth and comfort flee. Help of the help my soul abide with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let the presence of Jesus go with you. Whatever you lay your hands to do this week. Let the presence of God make the difference. Amen. Let the presence of Christ make the difference. Amen. In your life and in your endeavor. Amen. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Stand to your feet and shout, I am the tabernacle of his presence. Please say it again. Say the third time, I am the tabernacle. Somebody shout, glory! Come on, FDM, are you here? Have you entered your rest? Come on, shout glory! Have you entered your rest? One more time. Shout glory! Hallelujah! You don't want to miss next week's Sunday. And you don't want to let the one you love miss next week's Sunday. Believe me, we are still unveiling prophecy. And the one we unveil, we unveil the grace that will make it happen. Are you with me? We just activated grace for rest. Next Sunday, we activate grace for dominion. Three areas. Dominion over foul and dirty spirits. And thank God, that should be said on the right. Okay? It's going to be brutal here. Are you with me? Please invite someone. I know that rice and stew will be plenty. But don't miss next Sunday. Invite people. Even if you will travel. Travel after that Sunday. Don't miss next week Sunday. And make sure that somebody will come on your account. FDM, we are so winners. Are we not so winners? Don't come on Sunday empty handed. Bring some vessels to Jesus. Invite someone. Let us take this message across. Say amen. amen. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube, when you again, let me see you. You've not subscribed to our YouTube channel. Raise your hand. In a mifele, or you grab your phone now. Go to Fourth Dimension Media Head YouTube channel. Four Dimension Ministries Official, our official YouTube page. Subscribe now. Subscribe now. Very soon, if you want to subscribe, <laughs> it is free of charge now. Very soon, if you want to subscribe, you will pay us before we allow you. God bless you. Let's honor our online followers for today. Let's celebrate them. We love you. We love you. Hallelujah. Tomorrow, please. Shema, what time? 11, right? Tomorrow, 11 a.m. Every worker, if you participated in SAC physically, by